Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Making Print Your Competitive Advantage for Online Promotions. Um, today, we're really going to talk about how the intersection of print and digital around promotions can be have a real impact in terms of revenue and the growth of your business. Uh, I'm pleased to be joined by my colleague, Julie Foley. Uh, Julie is the Director of Affiliate Success at Second Street, and my name is Matt Cohen. I'm the president and co-founder of Second Street. At Second Street, we have the privilege of working with over 3,000 media companies across North America uh, on all things promotions, uh, both technology uh, in the areas of contests and deals and ballots and email marketing and more, um, but also in terms of uh, really taking the intelligence and the data that we're able to get from our 3,000 partners uh, across the country, across uh, the U.S. and Canada, and be able to share uh, insights and consulting on what works best with promotion. So uh, an area you may want to take a look at is the Second Street Lab, which is the promotions lab, which uh, has all the best practices around online promotions for media. And there's a companion uh, uh, e-book e to this presentation um, uh, that you can access on the lab as well. And, and at the end of this presentation, we'll give you a little bit of information on, on how to best go and get that information directly. Um, today we're really here to talk about promotions. And at Second Street, we've seen an absolute explosion uh, in revenue, marketing spend from advertisers and promotions. Uh, this was just a $12 billion marketing spend in 2008. It's now over $40 billion, and our friends at Burrell Associates uh, uh, predict it's going to go over $80 billion in the next few years. So this is a big, big opportunity, and the reason for it is because really digital is the ultimate platform uh, for promotions. Uh, unlike print, uh, which is an incredibly powerful medium, but it's really a lean back medium. Um, digital allows you to lean forward and interact uh, with the promotion as a whole. So you can enter a contest and share information about yourself to win a prize. You can vote in a contest. You can purchase a deal. You can download a coupon. Uh, digital is really the ultimate promotions medium, but when it's fused with the power of print, and when you're putting together promotions that leverage the best of digital and then best of print, we've seen outsized results. And for those of you on this uh, on this presentation, and I know most of you have print assets, you have a real powerful advantage when it comes to promotion. So Julie Foley uh, from our team knows this firsthand, because uh, before Julie came uh, to Second Street, she worked at the Statesboro Herald and saw some incredible results with promotions. Isn't that right, Julie? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I started working at the Statesboro Herald in 2007, I realized that to make my online promotions and contests successful, I needed to include the print to really excite my advertisers. I always leveraged digital because it was so much more efficient than what we were doing in the past with our print products, but when we combined with print, we were able to secure more sponsors and really excite our advertisers and move the needle in terms of digital and print revenue. Um, we ran contests um, for sports, we ran contests for cutest kids, and these contests generated about $50,000 a year back in 2007 and 2008 from local small and medium-sized businesses um, in our market at a very, um, at a very small paper media company. Um, you know, $12,000, $10,000 in revenue, it was when we combined the print with it um, and had those print ads and print promos combined with the digital that we're really able to move the needle for our advertisers and for our revenue success. So Julie, this wasn't just though something that you guys did once or twice a year and just kind of did it uh, on a whim. You guys ended up uh, um, putting a real focus on this, right? Yeah, after that first year of doing promotions, it really became the heart of what we were doing to drive revenue digitally as well as with our print products. It helped grow our email database, it helped drive website traffic, um, and it delivered results for our advertisers. And so we learned a few lessons from that first year and then into the, the following years that came after that, and they're still running these promotions to this day in Statesboro. And those lessons were one, online is efficient. Where we were using things like print to do to run contests and ballots before, online really made it easy to run these things. 
revenue was digital. We also had print revenue, but the revenue we were able to gain was digital revenue that we needed. We needed that digital revenue and promotions were a way for us to do that. And print is really powerful. Print was what drove our advertisers to sign on the dotted line and say yes. It was that combination of the excitement of the online and the power of the print that allowed us to be so successful. Um, and if we were to look pound for pound at our clients, it's amazing how many success stories are from our print partners. And one of the reasons might be larger sales forces or they're more apt to do this because maybe they got hit by the internet first. And in the legacy medium of television or radio, there's a really a limited amount of inventory and it's difficult to leverage that inventory for a promotion all the time. Um, hard to justify it, but as a print medium, you're uniquely valuable and have an abundance there, and it really gives you an advantage. Um, so when you do things um, like best ofs or um, e-commerce promotions or contests, um, you have the power with your print products that TV and radio cannot duplicate. And we have some case studies that we wanted to walk you through um, examples of how other print uh, uh, mediums have done this. And the first one comes to us from the State Journal Register. I know this is one of Matt Cohen's favorite case studies. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, it's in Springfield, Illinois. This is the Marty Carey models, we like to call it. Um, and this is an example of, of a promotion that was run in print. Every single week, um, it had an online contest, and then it had this print component where they put the pictures of their VIP pickers, their advertisers as their VIP pickers for the sports contest in print every week. Um, and they generate $100,000 in revenue. Their ability to integrate an online solution with the print solution allowed this to become a $100,000 solution. And the medium of print gave them that unlimited and tangible space that is really valuable to the customer. Um, and it was a truly integrated contest. Here's an example of a golf contest from a print partner. This contest had high frequency. It ran for 24 weeks, um, and the contest was so successful and popular with both the participants and the sponsors that they extended the contest for an additional six weeks, um, and it generated $100,000 in revenue. And it was the frequency and the reach. It was the heavy print promotion combined with the interactive um, components of that online contest. And it's not just contests, it's also ballots. Um, the Roanoke Times runs this holiday best of that coincides with their shopping guide. A lot of you might do these holiday shopping guides. Um, and they knew that best of worked really well. And they needed more types of these promotions on their calendar. Um, and so they had a lot of their boutiques and small and medium-sized businesses in their market. Um, they needed something for the holidays to tap into those retailers. And they ran this best of holiday shopping ballot. And we're able to crowdsource a lot of the content for this guide um, from the ballot. And it generated $70,000 in revenue. And again, it was combining that special section or that special issue with the online that was really powerful for the advertisers. You know, Julie, what I love about that is, is that uh, if you already have a special section, it becomes that much better, better content, better digital opportunities to sell into it. Uh, uh, from, for your print product that you can build on top of an existing legacy print product and, and do more with it, a special section like the holidays. But if you don't have uh, a print product and you have a ballot idea, you know, there's an opportunity to create an entirely new uh, print special section uh, that can generate a ton of new revenue that's fueled by a ballot. I mean, it, these things really work hand in hand. Absolutely, yeah, and we've seen um, our magazine partners run these best of wedding ballots, and we've seen other print partners run ballots around um, high school football, and there is reverse publishing opportunities with all of these, and then alignment, of course, with what special issues they're already doing. Um, another example of a promotion that had um, the print really drove a lot of the excitement from the advertisers and a lot of the revenue was one from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And this was actually a golf card, an e-commerce promotion where you bought a card and you could uh, play a round of golf at each of these 10 golf courses. Um, they had quarter pages every week, so there's full pages running on Sunday. Lots of print that went into this to really make it something that was really valuable to the advertiser, as well as digital, um, and of course the card itself. And it's already generated $85,000 in revenue and going, continuing to grow here. Um, 
another contest example from um, from another print partner. They were doing a uh, a special section like we were just talking about around the county fair. Um, they did a special magazine, but it only made fifteen thousand dollars a year. They needed to breathe new life in it, so they decided to do a photo contest to determine who would be on the cover. And now with this opportunity and with this excitement that they were able to generate with their community and with their advertisers, this has turned into a $100,000 opportunity. And the growth that they've seen just since 2010 has been exponential. Increase in users and in and photos that are being entered and people picking this up and getting so excited about this special issue and the amount of sponsorships they're able to secure and the amount of reverse publishing they're able to do with this. Uh, it's a $100,000 revenue opportunity now. Um, and the community sees this as an integral part of the fair. They see this contest and this issue as part of the fair. Another this about... This is a really small uh, publication, Julie, with uh, doesn't have a huge uh, staff of, of sellers, et cetera, and they're able to kind of drive those kind of results by combining the two, right? They have two sellers, Matt, and it's even smaller than the Statesboro Herald where I came from, which is saying quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, Greenville, Ohio, 5,000 circulation um, with two sales gals, and, and they are killing it with that contest and with those sponsorships. Absolutely, and it's the print piece that really drives a lot of that revenue, but it's the online that drove the excitement and breathed new life in it and made people want to be a part of it, and sponsors want to, um, to actually put up the dollars to actually sponsor it because they knew how exciting it was in the community. Another thing that gets your people in your community excited are these best of ballots where you're voting on who is the best, you know, lawyer, or where's the best place to go for, you know, a family dinner. Um, in the Santa Clarita Signal in Santa Clarita, California, they were able um, to take something that had been in print, um, you know, it has an impact, but, you know, um, they needed something that was going to be a little bit more interactive and not such a pain to count those ballots. Um, and so what they did was they did this online ballot and they were able to secure digital revenue as well as incorporate their special section and sell upgraded listings. And of course their special section was um, even more popular this year than it ever had been before because there were so many more votes. They went from having 2,000 votes to having 115,000 votes in just one year by having the online product. So the so then the print product in that special section was able to generate a 20% increase in revenue um, and how people were talking about it on social media, not just them promoting it as the media company, but even their advertisers promoting it for them and driving people, driving traffic to their online product to vote. Um, that's what makes this really exciting. And it was $75,000 in revenue this year, which was a 20% increase year over year. Um, Matt mentioned doing some ballots that maybe don't have a special section, but that you could turn into one, some reverse publishing. The Signal did that last year with their Fans Choice Awards for prep football. Um, they created this high school football ballot, everything about high school football in Santa Clarita, which is really big in that in that area. And they were able to secure a sponsorship for it, which was this medical institute. And now this year they're going to be doing it again, and they think that it has a huge opportunity for reverse publishing and making a print piece out of it. So now we've shown you all of these great case studies of how print can be really powerful, but how do you put your advantage to work? What are some next steps that you could take? First, align. What are your most successful print issues? How can you align a promotion, a contest, or an e-commerce promotion, or a ballot with those? Um, think about your most popular ones that you have, um, whether that's holiday, or football, or weddings, and how you could create a promotion that's going to tie in with that. Secondly, it's discovering opportunities, keeping your eyes open for reverse publishing. Um, this successful high school football ballot is a great addition for their football special section or, or a totally new issue now that they're going to be creating just for this promotion that they did. And their advertisers cannot wait to pounce on it this year. Also, your package, making sure that you're including, of course, print, but everything has value. Your email list, online, mobile. Advertiser opt-in, so op email opt-ins for your advertisers, of course your social elements, and if you're going to do an e-commerce promotion, all of these things have value, so put together a really strong package. 
And if you want to look at some packages, you can download this print playbook on the lab. We have some great examples of some packages that um, we've put together. Also, engage. When you've turned these promotions into multimedia offerings that move the needle for your advertisers and excite and engage your readers, then your digital sellers and your print sellers will both want to sell these and be really excited. So engage your sales force around this. And grab your share. You know, what are you waiting for? Time to plan. Let's do it. Let's go out there and find what we can align with, discover new opportunities. And remember the money that is pouring into online promotions. Matt mentioned this um, from Burrell, this, these numbers that's just going through the roof over the next three years. Um, and if you truly want to capture dollars, you have to combine the best of digital and the best of print. And when you bring those in together, it can really do amazing things. And if magazines don't take advantage, then others will. Case in point, this radio station in Atlanta, Georgia, who ran a wedding contest and captured $30,000 from this local resort and were able to help secure 10 weddings being booked as a result of this contest for the advertiser. That is ROI for the advertiser right there. So your competition is doing it, radio and TV is doing it, and you can do it as well. There's nothing stopping you from making a quarter of a million dollars, a half a million dollars, a million dollars. Um, our, we've seen this again and again with these $100,000, $85,000 opportunities out that are out there. Um, so we can go out there and we can win these dollars in our markets. So remember that online makes it efficient, makes it easy for you, and is engaging for your end users. The revenue can be digital. Of course, we all want that digital revenue, and so it's really exciting to be able to capture that, but that when we combine it with print, that's where it becomes really powerful. And when you align print with online, no one can stop you from winning. And if you want more about how you can win with your print products and with online, download this print playbook from secondstreetlab.com. Thanks, Julie. I, I really, we can't say enough about this opportunity for print publications. Uh, promotions where the growth is. Um, print publications are so well positioned. And uh, uh, we'd love your feedback on uh, what's working in uh, for your publication. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Once again, secondstreetlab.com slash print playbook. So uh, thanks to Schweike for having us, and uh, hope your uh, your promotions go great.